day of the accident was March 28, 1979. The off-site readings went up to about 14 milliar per hour as we went up south of the plant. And there were about 14 on-site. Uh, we didn't go on-site to measure. You know, when um, they were building the plant, I knew about it, and I'm thinking, gee, nuclear power is kind of dangerous, isn't it? I hope they know what they're doing. And literally, that's all I thought about it. Before this accident, we looked at those four towers with certain promise. Afterwards, we would look and feel we are living in the shadow of enormous technology out of control. And how do you control something of that magnitude? It was unexpected and they could not stop it. My husband was outside mowing the grass and uh, our daughter Patty, the one over here, she called to tell us about it and then we all left. Around 6 a.m. my husband was leaving to go to work out of the area and he was loading his truck with his tools and he told me, come on outside and smell the air. And I thought, wow, Hershey chocolate? We evacuated on Friday when the governor said that women who were pregnant or had preschool children to leave. We had a preschool child. So we decided to leave and we moved the third, about 38 miles from here to my mother's in Perry County. Some people were a little contrary didn't think they needed to go. But then there's peach bottom around here too, and you're not going to escape from it, are you? I, I got a map of all the nuclear power plants in the country, and literally everybody is with 200 miles of a nuclear power plant. You said that it went up to 14. Yes, and it was 14. The press secretary told us it was between 20 and 30 on the east bank and in other areas. That, on the side, it was that's on the site. No, he said on the no, side no. it was 125, so 125 side, 25, 25, 25 to 30. 25 to 30 in areas that, across the river. And while we were gone, I thought, I, I really want to know what's going on. So I'm listening to the TV and the radio, and these people sound like they really don't know what's going on. And that, um, you know, is there a uh, hydrogen bubble? Is there not a hydrogen bubble? Will that explode? Won't that explode? And I'm thinking, dear God, you know, I've left everything that we monetarily have and, and they don't even know what they're doing. My daughter's school on the second day had a weekly reader balloon release. The teacher had the kids outside and they had the balloons and the balloons had a tag with the name, address, and phone number so people could call the school and let them know what area the balloons were found and they wanted to know. That 125 MR figure from the chairman of the NRC was a calculation of what the maximum potential dose could have been for someone downwind of the plant at that particular time. When the balloons were released, the wind was blowing to the northwest. It was really interesting because it was blowing towards the city of Harrisburg. The amount of radiation that got out, we were unable to actually pinpoint because monitors went off stack, filters were clogged, and then the company reported that monitors were missing. The highest reading, it varied slightly, but it was south of the plant, a mile south of the plant to the center. So what we know is during the accident, we had at least 17 different blooms. The prevailing wind direction was north-northwest. The highest one that we had off-site was 14. What's that in Goldsboro? As a result of that first We didn't point. go to Goldsboro. We had the team on, uh, down where we thought the plume was. We, in this area, I think most people will always question how it, has it harmed us genetically? How did it harm us in our faith in government, our faith in industry? Do we ever really feel secure? in the shadow of those towers. It's uh, like living with a giant in your, your community. You know the giant is there, and you know that in some days it can raise its head and, and cause more problems, but you live with the giant. I wish we had never moved here. <laughs> never, well, we weren't ever told the truth that there could be some danger because nobody wanted to say it or believe it. Some still do not.